Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Let's talk about the OC and PMM for a moment, shall we? Uh, of course, everybody has seen the videos, and we're all very intrigued by by uh, what he demonstrated. But of course, it is subject to peer review, and this peer is about to review his work. Uh, what I've got here is an arrangement of eight magnets. We have like poles facing each other all the way around. And what I noticed about the the demonstration online is that when he slowly rotated the main rotor and we watched the small magnets beside it spin, I did take note of one interesting fact, and that is this. As the as the magnet poles transition past each magnet, you'll notice that the small stator magnet spins very quickly as it moves past this magnet. And yet, as it, as it moves between the magnets, it just sort of floats there until it reaches the next magnet. And then it spins around and floats there until it reaches the next magnet, etc. So, the actual interaction between these magnets and the stator is not linear as it's going around, okay? It's very quick, very slow, very quick, very slow, and so on. Now in the demonstration, as the device began to spin faster and faster, the mass of the stator magnets is going to smooth that out. The intriguing part about that that, that gives me, gave me any hope that this might work is, is the fact that we had a, a linear, spin, um, a constant spinning stator interacting with a nonlinear field of the rotor being interacted upon it. And you can see I'm able to get a very good meshing of the magnetic fields in the gear fashion as they demonstrated. Now this right down here is just a heavy steel washer to act as a flywheel which will give my uh, stator magnet the smooth motion that I want it to have as I'm reversing the direction to try and get it to work. So here goes. I just wanted to show you I've been playing with this a little while. I have yet to get it to sustain its own its own motion but in the interest of science Okay, just want to show you about how fast the stator spins. So now let's go like so. There we go. Now they are both spinning in the same direction, and of course, they come to a stop rather quickly. I'll try that again. And of course, if this takes off, you and I will be here to witness it for the first time together. But I'm not holding my breath. No. I don't know how much interaction the fluorescent lights is having with... Uh, the quality of the video, I hope not much. Oh, what a shame. It didn't take off. Now, of course, my device does not have the magnokinetic Judson dampers. Translation, I think they are either electromagnets that were driving the rotor from the side, or there is something underneath the rotor that you saw being demonstrated in the original video, because you'll notice that it was opaque. Could have easily been hollowed out. The base was very thick Lexan or acrylic or some some form. It could have been hollowed out underneath. Very easy to conceal a 9 volt battery, transistor, and an electromagnetic pickup unit. Uh, much like the uh, 
desktop novelties that you may have seen that were popular a few years back that kind of looked like over Unity, but uh, only until the battery ran out. So, um, I am less than confident in overconfidence demo, and that's that's about all I have to say about that. This is my this is my quick and dirty replication, but I think this is a very fair representation of the OC MPMM minus the support circuitry. Zero fossil fuel. Signing out for now.